Why is it so difficult to attempt a moon landing? Both Israel and India failed to successfully land lunar probes on the moon earlier this year because of a chain of malfunctions that occurred during the final stages of descent. Israel's Bereshit lander crashed during a landing attempt on April 11th. India's Vigra moon lander, which was part of the country's Chandrayaan-2 mission, crashed while attempting to land on September 6th. According to Space.com, the Bereshit lander crashed due to a malfunction that caused its main engine to shut down. The Bereshit team lost connection with the lunar lander when it was around 150 meters away from the moon's surface. At the time, the lander was traveling at speeds of up to 500 kilometers per hour. Though the team successfully restarted the spacecraft's engine before it crashed, it was unable to control the lunar probe's landing as the lander was traveling too fast and was too close to the moon's surface. The New York Times reports the Vikram lander had diverged from its original path when it reached an altitude of 2.1 kilometers. Shortly after, communication between the lander and the Indian spacecraft operator stopped. Business Insider reports that one of the reasons the last stage of a moon landing is challenging is because the lunar lander has to carry out a series of complex tasks in a matter of minutes for the lunar probe to land successfully. As the lander approaches the moon's surface, it has to adjust to the moon's uneven gravitational pull, which is stronger in some regions than others. Scientists believe this may be to the fact that some areas of the moon have a higher concentration of mass underneath the surface. The lander also has to watch out for the moon's rocky terrain and moon dust, also called regolith, which could interfere with spacecraft equipment as the lander makes its descent.